Good morning, welcome to today's RC Coffee Chat. So today's topics are the slope soaring session yesterday, <laughs> the slope soaring session today, uh, Allen keys, which are just there as well. Oh, the wombat build was started as well. Happy days. Does start to look really cool. Really is. And finally, the one which I am assuming you're most interested in, which model one? And we will find out very, very shortly. So yesterday's slope soaring session, uh, how do I describe this best? Uh, it was very warm and it was very relaxing uh, and uh, Matt didn't actually go in the end to be brutally honest I went in the house and uh, I put the fire on and uh, promptly went to sleep so uh, the last two months or so finally caught up with me and I had a good old sleep on the sofa it was absolutely fantastic so I didn't end up flying at all yesterday uh, which was a bit of a pity but on the flip side I slept for most of the afternoon and I frankly really enjoyed it. I was genuinely quite tired. So uh, yeah, no slope soaring yesterday, but today is a slope soaring day. Uh, me and Dave are going up to a place called Mays Knoll today. Uh, that should be really good fun. The weather forecast isn't as crazy as it was yesterday by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, it's saying anywhere from 10 to 13 mile per hour wind so that'd be about 26 so yeah it definitely will be a little weasel day chucking around and i'll see what else i've got to take up with me as well uh, to chuck around on the slope so yeah i'm really looking forward to that today uh yeah much more uh sensible should i say for weather and also let me just give you a quick heads up into next week tuesday looks absolutely amazeballs here in the united kingdom uh, we've got a high of 7 degrees uh, and a wind conditions of approximately 2 miles per hour as well. That is going to be a perfect day for the maiden of the mini talon. Uh, so next week, uh, yeah, Tuesday and Wednesday looks absolutely fantastic and I can't wait for next week. Uh, well, can't wait for Christmas to turn up. Uh, but I also can't wait for next week because we've got a couple of sunny days and uh, yeah, looks like it's going to be absolutely fantastic. Right, uh, so that's slope soaring out of the way. Allen keys, I, how many of you have done this? Go on, own up. Is the the little rainbow wing which is here, which I really like actually. Uh, and I kept, well, I tried flying it yesterday, uh, but the uh, motor mount kept coming loose because I didn't have a small enough Allen key to do up the little bug screws on the back. And then I went on and uh, bought not just one Allen key, uh, I, I bought a massive great big set like that for about nine quid off Amazon uh, so I've got a load of hex keys which I'll never use now uh, but saying that they do have Imperial and metric in there which is kind of handy uh, anyway uh, how many of you have bought a tool a big box of tools just like that just for one tool in there because that was me yesterday uh, thank goodness for same day delivery uh, and then I tightened it up so much uh, the motor wouldn't actually spin because I was tightening up the props <laughs> going through the motor too much. So anyway, I've done it up now. It's ready for its maiden. If the sun comes out early, and by the way, the time now is 06.22, uh, and it's still dark as you like out there. And as you can tell, it's a bit burr uh, here in the office this morning. Uh, and if the sun does come, up, up, look, come out a little bit early, I will take it out the front for a quick maiden, and I will go and get it on video as well. Um, give you a heads up, that will be at home, so I'll only post that one in Facebook. Uh, but then we'll go and, and we'll take her over the park or something, can chuck her over there, and then we'll do a proper maiden video for it as well. well like second maiden. Should be really good fun. It's quite pokey, that little motor I've stuck on it, even if the bug screws were a pain in the rear. Anyway, uh, Allen Keys. Uh, topic number four the Wombat build has now been started. Let me get a photo for you. Uh, where's the right folder? Chop, chop, chop. Uh, there is, there she is uh, on my desk. I uh, last night I cleared off all the uh, where it gets hot wired. I cleared off, excuse me, I uh, cleared off all the um, crap basically off the wing. Just use a razor and then use a sanding pad to clean it up. That took five minutes or so. It made it one heck of a mess. If I'm frankly honest. 
and then uh, you'll see that I've got black lines on here. Now do do know uh, that I will be clear laminating this model, but then I will be putting a custom skin over the top as well. Uh, so it, for me, it doesn't matter for having black lines on here. Uh, it's just Sharpie marker pens um, because it will get end up having a skin on top, so we'll never see those underneath. Uh, one of the things which I wanted to do was to recess in. Uh, you'll see the depth over here, if I zoom in, uh, that's the original depth of the booms uh, in the, the wing cords which were cut or provided. Uh, and then I've gone in actually an additional two inches. I did think I was going to need to go in a lot further, but I've gone in two inches and that's a real nice tight fit in there. And it feels like if I put a carbon sh sh uh, rod across that to make like a T-joint on the end uh, or through the boom itself, that would make it super rigid. Now, what I will be doing later this afternoon... Oh, by the way, can you I, you can't really see it on here, is that I've, you'll also notice that I have put vertical lines all the way down the wing cord, uh, and that is it one inch increments. And the reason why I've done it in one inch increments is that so later I can then put extra spars across if, if desired. Uh, and also you'll notice on both wing halves, uh, I've got a... Uh, line going across which I know is at 90 degrees to the wing cord so that if I do want to put another uh, spar in there on the top for example I have at least one straight line and one line which I know is straight which I can then use as a reference. Uh, I also learned that over here on the wing uh, that that distance from there to there is actually two booms thick uh, and that little dot just over there uh, that is at 14.5 uh, centimetres from the uh, edge as it comes across. So that's the centre of the movable surface. So that I put the servo in and the control horn in the middle of the actual uh, elevon uh, so that we get maximum strength from the servo. Uh, now, that servo placement may change at the point of... Um, I'm not going to say glue up, I'm going to say pin up. What I'm going to be doing today is that you've seen me with the dress pins. I'm going to go and dress pin this model together. So I'm going to put out, put loads and loads of pins in her. Uh, and the reason why I'm going to do that, and actually build the model with just using pins. Uh, and the reason why I'm going to do that is that I'm going to mock up the actual build itself so that I get an idea on where the C of G is going to be. Uh, so then I know whether I need to move those servos forwards because at the moment they are now behind the CFG line and uh, the CFG line is around where that black line is on the top. Uh, but what I'm going to be doing, like I said, is using, pin, <coughs> using pins just to mop this up and I'll put the, mo I'll put the motor on the mount to mount with the propeller. I'll put the ESC roughly in the place where I'm going to be uh, putting it, uh, which will be on top of the actual fuselage itself. Uh, and then I'll be using a variety of batteries in the nose, also just sellotaping down the run cam on the nose as well. Uh, and it will be a true mock-up uh, of the final build. And of course, I'll share some photos on uh, Facebook. It won't be particularly attractive. Uh, but the point here is that I'll mock up the build before I continue any further. And the reason why I'll be doing that is because I will know, and if you've got a model similar to this, or maybe you've been and bought yourself a Wombat, is that you will know, does the C of G work with the current combination uh, without putting any glue in there and trying to limit trial and error. Uh, so I do feel that the booms are perhaps a little bit too long, uh, and that will come, I will know this later today, once I've been and pinned her up. Uh, that will get proven or disproven as the case may be. Now, my hunch is, just from my experience with the Micro Sky Munter, uh, is that I think extra weight near the rear of this model is actually going to be a good thing uh, because I know with the Micro Sky Munter, which is the nearest thing which I've got, which has got twin booms, uh, is that I really do have to ram that battery right back so it hits the tray underneath. Uh, so... Yeah, it's going to be curious how she works out for C of G. Um, yeah, we'll find out later today on that one. Right, the topic which I'm guessing you really want to know is which model one. So just for complete clarity, it is 0628 here. So you've had an extra 28 minutes to place your votes. Uh, and on YouTube, oh, I tell you what, let's go and check Hobby King to see if they've got any new deals today. 
Oh no, they're down. Oh well, sorry, can't check Hobby King. They're down at the moment. They were like that all day yesterday as well. How much money they must have lost is un freaking believable. And let me just be fair, let me go and refresh the page. Sad times. Right, uh, on to which models, uh, on to the vote. So those are the votes which were put in on Facebook. Okay, total responses, uh, sorry, on YouTube. Uh, I wanted to share with those. My face might be over them, but you'll get the general gist uh, of what's gone on there. And then also in the Facebook group as well. Those are the votes too. Uh, and with that said, I did make a little Excel spreadsheet this morning. And let's have a quick look. Whoa, that's a bit slow <laughs> right anyway uh let's have a quick look so again i've kind of spoiled it really i should, should should we do that again should we do that again right so in last place we have the eve with a total of two votes so two of you voted for the skywalker eve and those votes were made on ubles in fourth place we have the Wall E2000. We had three votes on YouTube and five votes on Facebook. Uh, so that came in with 10% of the votes. So moderately popular. The one which actually kind of got me is that if you were a YouTuber watching yesterday's RC Coffee Chat, you kind of voted for the full-sized talent, which was, remember, that was the, the model which kind of spurred on this question. Uh, and 11, you, 11 of you voted for the full-size talent on YouTube, whereas only two of you voted for the full-size talent on Facebooks. So that came in with 16% of the vote. Now, the next one was the MTD, and that was kind of uniformly. I think the 10 people which were on YouTube were also on Facebook as well, uh, and that got 10 votes on Newballs and 10 votes on Facebooks. Uh, and that came in with 25%. However, the model who which won, uh, that because that only leaves the XUAV clouds, uh, was the clear winner with 47%. So that was 19 votes on Ubles and 19 votes on Facebooks. So we will be buying this one today. Now I'll give you a heads up. I have actually, I kind of saw yesterday afternoon that the clouds was completely in the lead. Uh, and I have actually just been emailed Banggood to say, I've put a vote out. Uh, it looks like the clouds is gonna be the clear winner. Uh, and I did make the point that it's uh, the $200 for whatever it was for the model uh, was only a drop in the ocean when you compare it to, and I will check my email very quickly to give you an idea because this is only one part of the story. Uh, let me just scroll down. And I missed out ESCs on this as well. Uh, yeah, hence the questions to see if you can help with the price of the model uh, because you have $70 worth of motors and propellers. I missed out a pair of ESCs. We'll need two 40 amp ESCs. So in dollars, that's like another $40 chucked in on top. We need another $45 worth for apparently five servos. They, they, they reckon five servos for that model and I don't know why. You've got two in the tail, you've got two for the ailerons. I don't know where the fifth servo goes. So that this model already has a curiosity about it because they list five servos on Banggood and also on the XUAV's website. They also say five serv servos as well. I don't know what the fifth servo is for, to be frankly honest. If anybody does know, please do let me know in the comment section uh, in underneath this uh, underneath today's RC Coffee Chat. Uh, coming back onto the topic, uh, $60, and that's the reason why I, I had Hobby Bulls open, uh, is because I wanted to sit, well, go on and finally purchase. I've had a 10,000 mini amp for battery pack uh, in the shopping cart, but I can't check out. So, Hobby King, that was a note specifically for you. I do have a battery in my cart, but I can't pay you because your website is down. Uh, let's go back and check that. Oh no, it appears to be down still. Let me just take that off there. See if it comes back. Let me take. No, I would like to give you some money, Hobby King, but I can't because your website is down. And I will need to blur out the bottom of that because it's got my IP address on the bottom. Hey ho. Right. 
Uh, coming back onto the topic, uh, I also noted $215 for an Eagle Tree Vector, which is a slight bend in the truth because I will reuse, uh, I'll take actually use the um, Vector, which is the Mini Talon. I'll set them up as replaceable units, but that, on a serious point, uh, that would require a separate uh, wiring loom, which are not cheap. They're like 20 quid for a wiring loom for the Vector. Nice wiring loom, don't get me wrong. Uh, but we also need a separate GPS module as well. Uh, and there was something else which I forget which we need for the Vector. Oh, the DRC input as well. So, yeah, separate wiring looms required for that. Uh, probably I will use a Runcam Eagle or something very similar for the actual model itself. Uh, and of course, a FPV transmitter. And of course, I'm also overlooking a receiver as well. But I would most likely go for the L9R, or I might even give the 433. Uh, a world as well I don't know yet um, so yeah I wanted to make the point that the model is only one part of the story uh, that there's more than money's that there's like double that if not more which needs to end up getting put in the model because the motors alone they are $27 something like that we're going to be going for the X2214 uh, 980 kV uh, to swing a 10 something inch prop uh, on there so that's the recommended motor so I'll go with the recommendations and again I did big hat tip to Dave as well we were looking at the uh, power uh, modules for the MTD because that is a proven model uh, and the X2214 uh, 980 kV did seem to come out on top as the best like motor and prop combo for that model so we'll take something which has been proven in another model uh, and we'll put it in this one uh, but I don't know why those but those motors seem to be really really expensive so uh, yeah, it's $27 a pop, and we need two of them as well. Not happy days at all. So, thank you very much. That is the model which you voted for. I will get that purchased today. Now, frankly, I'm in no rush to actually get that one bought today, so I'm not going to do it immediately this morning, and that's for two reasons. Number one, I haven't heard back from Banggood. Uh, around this model and number two it doesn't matter if I buy it this morning or this afternoon uh, they still won't ship it until like the early hours of tomorrow evening so I do have a little bit of playtime but I will confirm that she has been purchased in the Facebook group later today uh, whether I have to pay full price or not that's kind of irrelevant but it will get bought today uh, and I will also get the expediated shipping so that will be a new project in 2017 and I would actually just like to say thank you um, the reason why I put that vote up there yesterday is because it's all fine and dandy me going mm, I wouldn't mind a full-size talent after having the mini one uh, but what would you like to see and that's why I put the vote up so that's why I gave five options uh, and you voted as a community that's what you would like to see so hey that's what we're gonna go and get uh, and that's what we're gonna be flying uh, in the new year so Honestly, I can't say anything more than thank you uh, for helping shape this channel and I'm sure we are going to have some fantastic adventures with this model. Uh, two things which are kind of like floating around in my head right now is that uh, it would be really cool to have a, uh, number one, any suggestions on where we should put the FPV camera, okay, and also number two, uh, I was also thinking about doing a little pan and tilt for it as well. Now that is going to be curious how we make that in the nose. Uh, yeah, that is going to be fun. Oh, and I will also be buying today. And I need to find not that notepad, that notepad there. Let me just put this on here. Flytron LEDs. Uh, I'm sure you saw on Facebook a while ago those really, really bright LEDs, uh, that flashing strobe, uh, which I had on the Mini Talon. Uh, I will be putting a, a semi-full set of strobes on this model as well, mainly because it looks damn cool. Uh, and I will be getting some strobes in just for this model as well. Uh, and if you don't know about the Flytron strobes, look back on my YouTube channel and you'll find out of me buying them. Uh, and then also there's a video of them on the Mini Talon. I've only got one on the Mini Talon and it's bright. It's eye shockingly bright. The, the video doesn't do it any justice at all. Uh, you end up with just dots all over your eyes because it's just ridiculously bright. Uh, so I will be putting some LEDs on there as well uh, or some strobe lights on there as well. So happy days. That is today's RC Coffee Chat Topics. No slope sewing yesterday. Uh, it was on a slope, but it was called the sofa and I frankly passed out. 
Uh, today is a slow restoring day. I do need to go and put the little lifey battery on charge for the weasel because she will get definitely get a beating in the sky today. Uh, Alan Keys, he was owning up to buying a massive great big set of tools only really probably for the smallest tool in the box. That was me yesterday, hey ho, but it does mean that I finished the wing and I've got more Allen keys to, uh, well, the weight in that sink a battleship. Uh, the Wombat build has been and started and she's starting to look gorgeous. I'm really excited about this one. Oh, I do have an idea for the covering or the skin for her as well. I am going to keep that as a surprise uh, until she's done and we'll have a great big unveiling. Uh, and uh, yeah, I can't wait to share that one with you. So I'm gonna keep that one to myself. I've already kind of worked out uh, what I'm gonna do with that one. Uh, and I had some really, really good ideas, but no, I'm kind of hell bent on doing this one now. So that's what we're gonna do for this model. You'll find out about that in the new year. Well, depends how quickly I get it built. Uh, and finally, which model won? It was the XUAV Clouds. No idea what she's gonna fly like in the sky. Uh, it should be pretty good knowing the rest of the XUAV products. Um, twin motors, VTAIL, look at that thickness, of like, the, like the length of the uh, wing cord. It should be pretty floaty and they do suggest something absolutely ridiculous. And this is gonna test my stamina. Uh, where is it? Uh, throw rejected, might be in there. Uh, oh, actually, it must have been over on the XUAV website. Uh, they were suggesting about an hour's worth of, yeah, cruise time, 1.5 to 3 hours in the sky, which is absolutely bonkers. Uh, and that will be a real test of my actual stamina uh, in the sky uh, to hold a model in the sky that we might try an endurance test on it uh, to see the total distance traveled on it. Um, obviously I need to stay within the limits of course of what we're allowed to do here in the United Kingdom but there's no limit to the amount of time which I know of uh, which you can stay in the air uh, obviously we'll need to ensure that we have backup DVR uh, uh, diversity receiver batteries which shouldn't be an issue but we'll put a spare one by that one uh, a separate um, what should we call it uh, 2S pack uh, to hand uh, for the Fat Shark goggles, separate video um, uh, spare uh, battery for the transmitter to hand as well. Uh, just make sure we've got everything doubled up as possible for the flight. So anyway, that's me thinking into the future. That uh, should be really good fun. And when I say thank you, I genuinely do mean that because there's no point me going off and buying another model which you're not interested in. So when I do say thank you for helping me with the vote on this one, I genuinely do mean that because you get to shape the future of this channel and this, we'll get this one in 2017, I'm sure. Uh, and I can't wait for it to get built uh, and get her out flying. So on that note, if you are out flying today, have a fantastic day. Today, I will be putting a little Diddy battery in for you. Uh, and the reason why I'm putting a little Diddy battery in there is because we're going slope soaring and we rarely get through a battery every once every two flights. Or, well, with a weasel, we can fly it all day on a tiny little battery. So on that note, I really am going now, and I shall see you again tomorrow. And on that note, for myself, Matt, oh, and by the way, those of you which are on different time zones, I would like to wish you a very Merry Christmas. Uh, have some absolutely fantastic de uh, day tomorrow. Uh, I'm assuming, yes, i have just checking the dates. Have a fantastic day tomorrow. Uh, and I, on that note, I may or may not be making an RC coffee chat tomorrow. I genuinely don't know our own timing. Obviously, I've got two girls uh, and Santa will, I'm sure, because they've been very good girls, Santa will be here tomorrow. But those of you which hit uh, Christmas Day or your Christmas Day, uh, have a absolutely fantastic Christmas. And I really am going now. So on that note, for myself, Matt, thank you ever so much for watching, as always. And a big thank you for choosing the clouds. I cannot wait to get this model now. And on that note, I really am going, cheerios!